Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about how to enable all the new features, hidden features or features that are slowly rolling out in the latest build for the beta channel, which is the build 22635.4145. So in these new features, we're talking about a new gamepad layout on the on-screen keyboard of Windows 11. We're talking about new sharing options in the file explorer, new updates and the new UI to the Windows Spotlight, and also some new mouse options inside the settings app in Windows 11. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable all that. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, we're gonna have to set up Vivetool on our computer so you can get Vivetool from the article below. Just make sure to get the latest version.zip. You can then open it up using File Explorer, click on Extract All, click on Browse and then make sure to extract it into a dedicated folder. For example, I have here a folder hidden features inside local disk C. You can do it pretty much the same. Select folder and then we're gonna copy the location because we're gonna need it when whenever we are running the commands. Click on extract. In my case, I'm going to have to replace the files in the destination and then we are good to go. This is how you can set a Vive tool on your computer. Now, after you set up Vive tool, just search for CMD in the search box and then click on run as administrator. On user account control, click on yes. In the CMD, you're going to have to type in CD and then paste the location. And now we are inside that location. I have here the list of all the IDs and commands that we have to run. A huge shout out to Phantom of Earth on Twitter for discovering all the IDs and commands for these features make sure to follow him on Twitter from the pinned comment below. First of all, we're going to enable the on-screen keyboard layout, which is this command that you have to run. Of course, all these commands will be in the article below, so you can get them from there. The on-screen keyboard doesn't work on my computer. Maybe this is tied to some slow rollout that Microsoft is doing, but if you enable this command, you should have the best chances of testing that. Then you share to Notepad and Clipchamp inside the File Explorer. Also, the new Windows Spotlight, which comes in three different variants. So here, I'm not going to show you all the variants possible, but inside the variant, you can can type 1, 2, or 3. In my case, on this computer, I have the third variant enabled, but you can enable both of the other if you want to test them out. And of course, you're also going to need this command for Windows Spotlight. And lastly, for the new mouse options, this is the command that we need. As I've said, all these commands will be in the article below. You can just copy and paste them from there if you are interested in testing out these new features inside the latest build for the better channel. Once you've done all that, you can exit out from the CMD and then restart your computer for the changes to take effect. Now, for the restart, we can see all the new features. First of all, related to the new on-screen keyboard, you're going to see a screenshot because as I've said, on my computer, even though I enable the IDs, I don't have that enabled. But you can see how that looks. You can test it out and maybe for you it will be enabled. You have this on-screen keyboard which you can change the keyboard layout of and the new gamepad version of it basically allows you to control this keyboard using the Xbox controller. So you have certain keys that you can press in order to access different keyboard keys on the on-screen keyboard. So I think that is pretty interesting. Now I'm also going to show you all the three variants of the new window spotlight so you can see that these are some screenshots that phantom of earth posted on his twitter so shout out to him so as you can see there are three different variants three different uis some of them being more minimalistic and minimized also some of them showcasing more information about certain images that are showcased using window spotlight next up if we go into the file explorer and then try to share a file for example a picture right click and share or just click on this button you're going to see that you'll have the new options to share using notepad and also microsoft clipchamp which is basically the built-in editor from microsoft also if you want to share something to notepad if we go into the settings app and then bluetooth and devices and then mouse we're going to have the new mouse options enable pointer precision which can be turned on or off and also scrolling direction you can select down motion scrolls down or down motion scrolls up so these are all the new features that we can enable in the latest beta channel build make sure to check out the article below for all the commands and also check out phantom of earth's twitter if you want to learn more about hidden features in windows 11. if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I'll zoom out from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.